Hello, I'm Katrina Day. I have been researching a um, link between um, the um, heart electrical pulsation, a unique um, ECG electrical uh, wave of your heart, and an electrical um, brain wave, EEG, unique frequency. Um, now they're linked, and um, heart pulse, electrical pulsation, can be translated into your brain wave. A lot of experiments have been done, how to manipulate people, so how to transfer the messages to a person, so only this person can hear it. We now have quantum computers where they can process everybody's data, have got instant processing capacity of multiple levels. Everybody's a number and can be manipulated. So if you are uh, allowing your data, um, on the internet, uh, this particular data, uh, this will be uh, tapped into by status quo. Um, uh, a lot of devices are doing that, uh, even for commercial purposes, to ease people into the uh, thing um, so that they do not consider it a violation of human rights. Um, and uh, you could um, get BioZen or Arduino computers, put their devices on your head and transfer the messages to a computer. Uh, and um, the um, shape that you think of will appear on the screen. Now, if that can happen one way, it will be a two-way communication, obviously, and it can happen the other way. Uh, that means that the messages can be transferred from computer to you, and your thought processes will be manipulated um, with electromagnetic pulses. That should be classed a violation of human rights, uh, because we should form our impressions with our own perception. Our own sensory devices should form our perception, irrespective of their quality, our skin, touch, etc. And um, we should not be allowed um, to do um, that to another person either. So um, we should be our own person. If, um, if we do not give our agreement in principle to the bank or anybody uh, status quo, um, then they can still tap into our frequency, but we will still be able to have a fighting chance because we have not agreed to that. However, if we agree to it, uh, then um, there is a psychological advantage that they have got over us. Um, I will provide all the links regarding this, and I have to remind you that we are in the, the age of technological development where everybody is a number. Uh, where we've got quantum computers, uh, we've got wearable devices, and people think um, that they are only measuring their blood pressure and um, pulse, and they do not fully comprehend that this data goes on the internet, and it is open to abuse. So we have to think very carefully what we are agreeing to. Um, therefore, um, not allowing the status quo um, to affect our thought processes, to tap into it, um, to change our personality by this, uh, because something may happen in our lives, we turn around and we haven't even realized what has happened, how we have done something that we otherwise would not have done. And that can be um, taken um, like this, and it, it can take a mass. Um, nature because of the wearable devices that everybody um, will have very soon. Um, so um, these commercial devices that I was talking about, um, you could also fire up toy drums with your um, heart electrical pulse. You can imagine that and uh, once you've um, given away your electrical pulse of your heart, that will be linked to your brain. Um, we have to say that this is quite serious, and um, it's obviously different from providing your heart data to your doctor, ECG to your heart specialist, because the doctor only looks at your um, pattern of general um, heart pattern, doesn't know about your um, electrical pulsation, and compares um, to a healthy pattern of the heart. But if this data goes on the internet, it will be open to abuse. So there you are. I've told you what you have to know. Now you know your heart data is linked to your brain data. Uh, stay independently thinking, stay human, and uh, stay cool. Bye.